So, Josh, welcome to Uphill Conf. Um, you are the founder of StatQuest, uh, and also it's an amazing YouTube channel. I checked out some of the videos. But I was wondering, what got you interested in artificial intelligence in the first place? Uh, yeah, so it's uh, maybe a long story that maybe isn't so interesting. But uh, to be honest, uh, a lot of it's, um, well, let's go back. Uh, originally, I was just interested in statistics, and I thought machine learning and AI and all that stuff was kind of silly. Uh, but somebody asked me, uh, I was at a conference not unlike this, and someone said, can you tell me what a random forest is? And I said, no, because <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, and, I, and he was like, well, they did this cool experiment, and they used this model, and, and I have no idea how it works, and I was wondering if you could help me understand it. Uh, and that question right there got me on my path to where I am now um, of not not only like do I understand random forests but I also understand a lot of these things and the, and the more I get into it the cooler I think it is so it's been a real uh, not just an interesting journey and educational and I've learned a lot on the on the way but I've also uh, it's also opened my eyes to how cool it actually is yeah this morning you gave a, a really interesting session. So that was a deep, deep dive into how neural networks work. Now, I was wondering, is that like that level of detail to understand that? Do you think everyone needs that? Or is that just like your, your, your pet peeve that's like, I'm super interested and that's how you dive into that? <laughs> Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, and I think uh, n the answer is no, not everyone needs to go that deep. Um, uh, I, I think part of what I was trying to convey was um, less, even though I went through all the details, the concept, and maybe I should have been more explicit about what I was trying to say, which is it's really just basic math, and it's something that anyone can understand. Um, and so, and I think, because a lot of people when they look at AI, and they, they, uh, they, might, they might see a, a manuscript or something like that, and it's usually very complicated equations written in very complicated matrix algebra notations. Um, and, it's, and all that stuff boils down to is basic arithmetic, basic multiplication and addition. And if you can do those two things, you can learn anything about AI, you, even the most state-of-the-art models. You can learn how they work. And so that was more of the, the message I was trying to convey and uh, um, that there, wa I wasn't, there was nothing magical going on. It's, it's simple at a very fine level. But you don't necessarily need to understand exactly like, oh, at this stage I do multiplication and then I do addition. You don't need to know, know those kind of details. Uh, once you understand that, oh, I can understand this, then it's really just big picture things. Um, but also, okay, <laughs> sorry to keep going. It's also, I think when you understand at that small, low level, you can also appreciate what the limitations are because you know it's no longer magic. And what I thought was super interesting this morning is if we zoom out a little bit from the detail into high level that you said um, at the end of the day, every model is just hallucinating. And it's just that some of the hallucination is closer to reality than not. And, and that being said, and, you know, a lot of um, businesses also betting on AI, where does that leave us for the future? Where do you think is this going to um, to to end up? Well, I feel like it could go a lot of different ways. And, and right now, the, the current approach is to use something called Retrieval Augmented Generation, uh, which is, the acronym is RAG. Um, and that seems to be sort of right now the current state of the art in managing hallucinations. But it's not, to be honest, it's not like a fundamentally different approach from the large language models, the chat GPT, are, that they're already using. Uh, all you're doing is you're, you're giving the chat GPT some more context, but you're, there's, no, there's no like fundamental difference in, in how it works. So it's still possible to hallucinate. What we've done is we've, we've, we've minimized it um, or made it smaller. And I don't even know if we've minimized it at this stage. Uh, but I, to be honest, I feel like some fundamental change in the architecture is, is what's going to be needed, ultimately. Okay, and last question. 
Stat Quest, your YouTube channel. Um, I myself am also a YouTube creator, and I know that you you have to put a lot of thought in you know conveying knowledge, but also in your case specifically, you're explaining very complex topics in an easy to do way. How do you come up with those ideas? Uh, so the the videos are, are 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 how I teach myself. It's my own Stat Quest, um, and so how do I come up with it is. Um, the, usually the only way I can understand is to kind of break it down like I was showing it to you. Like I look at the equations and I go, some people look at those equations and go, hey, that makes sense to me. I look at those equations and go, that doesn't make any sense to me. So I have to break it down into the individual components and just see what each piece is doing and kind of follow the numbers for me to ultimately understand. Um, and so that's sort of my, that's what I do. And I do it for myself. Um, and then I make the videos as a way of, of making sure I really understand it. Um, because um, when I'm making the videos is that's when I realize that there are, that's when I discover there, there are gaps in my knowledge uh, because I have to jump from one concept to another and there, I know there's gotta be stuff in between. And, and so it's all about to be, it's a little selfish and it's all about me just learning because I'm so excited about it. Thank you so much, Josh, for sharing that with us, and uh, have a wonderful upload.